So to figure out the maximum you're allowed to contribute to your after-tax 401k plan, it's a very simple equation. Ultimately, you take the defined contribution limit the IRS puts forth every year. For 2025, that maximum is $70,000 if you're under the age of 50. You then subtract out how much you're gonna put into your regular 401k, either pre-tax or Roth 401k. That's your employee contributions. You subtract that from 70,000. You then further subtract how much your employer is giving you by way of a match or profit sharing, and that dictates the maximum you're allowed to put into the after-tax 401k. Now, if you're over the age of 50, specifically if you're between the ages of 60 and 63, starting in 2025, you have either a catch-up contribution or a super-duper catch-up contribution that adds to the defined contribution limit. But in reality, that also adds to how much you're gonna put into the pre-tax or Roth 401k, which then the math ends up being roughly about the same. 